Why hello there people, my name is Big Mooney, this here is episode number 32 of the Battlefield 4 Top Place. As always, we have 10 awesome clips for your viewing pleasure sent in by you, the Battlefield community. You can check out last week's winner in the description down below. But let's get to this week's episode. For our first clip up today here, we have Mega Mix HD, and he is playing on everyone's favourite map, Operation Lockers. Yay, definitely everyone's favourite. But he's using the UTS-15 shotgun, and as he comes up here on a bunch of enemies, he just lets rip with this thing here, getting himself 8 kills in such a short space of time. And as he comes around the corner, fuck this guy too! Make that nice. Next up here we have Mad Tom, playing in Galmond Railway, chilling in his Type 99 tank, peering down upon his enemy players as they unsuspectfully just roll into this base over here. I do not know what happened to that jet. I'm gonna guess it's a jet. I don't really know. It's just a smoldering carcass at this point. But the enemy team are just rolling in there, seeing if they can get in and take the flag. That last guy did not know what was coming his way as he gets taken down with the tank shell. As he moves on to his next target here, this enemy tank just takes an absolute beating before it eventually explodes, getting himself a kill there, followed by a swift second bringing him up to just under 1,000 points. Unfortunately, the point streak just ran out right before he hit the side of that chopper there, and unfortunately for him, again, he didn't get a kill there on that chopper. He smacked it, he took it down, he didn't kill anyone somehow. But he did take out this guy's face as he's just chilling in the middle of a field in front of a tank. Never really a smart move. And he just takes down the enemy armor over there, getting himself another grubble kill. But after he's rolled back over this hill, he starts emerging forward again, enemy jet comes in out of nowhere, unfortunately. Once more seems to be the word of this clip, he gets kind of unlucky. The enemy pilot did abandon ship before he put a tank shell right through its face. Out of nowhere he gets immobilized, and as he spins around he sees the culprit of this action, this enemy helicopter. He's not going to stand for such nonsense as he takes it down before it finishes him off, and then he turns his attention to this other helicopter over here, and again takes him out of the sky in one shot, with no more kills. What the hell? Next up here we have Will T. Fox. Will T. Fox. Will T. Fox. I don't know, but he's took down his first target there, playing some Flood Zone, playing some uh, Rush it seems, with a Gaul Magnum sniper rifle. And uh, he's jumped down here, he's going to make his way up on top of the road over here. And uh, it seems there's a few enemies uh, around this uh, spot over here. As you can see, enemy anti-aircraft tank, not going to last very long with some C4 on the side of it, takes him down and gets himself 300 points, not too shabby. We're going to skip forward as he runs all the way up those uh, up the scaffolding and stuff, there's no point in seeing it, nothing happens at all. And he takes down his first target there once he gets on location, taking the guy's head clean right off. But one kill is not enough, of course, he's going to move right into the heart of the action to see if he can see any more people and take them down, also with his Gaul sniper rifle. And uh, after going all the way around the, uh, the sort of dead zone, if you want to call it that, he gets up on top here, pops some guy right in the face who had no idea what was happening there with a little no scope, and he takes down another target, quite long range there, as well as a third guy, and uh, we're going to start killing some fools all over the shop here as he takes down another one. I do enjoy every now and again a nice aggressive sniper clip of someone just getting right in the thick of it with a bolt action rifle and doing some damage, taking people down left, right, and center, and playing the objective. It's actually something you don't see a whole lot of as a recon player or a sniper just getting right in there and arming MCOM stations and just doing all that shit. So it's always awesome when you do see that. And uh, where he's sort of sitting right now at points in Rush, uh, by perishing himself up on this location, he has sort of given the enemy a bit of a problem. They need to watch the front. They're attacking from the front there, so they need to watch that. So it doesn't really... Uh, so it basically gives him a free opportunity, free range to just shoot whoever the fuck he wants until someone eventually clocks him up here and tries to do something about it. And uh, a few of them have tried to do something about it, but he prioritizes them, takes them out before moving on to the more sort of clueless guys like that guy. I don't know what he was doing, he was just sort of, you know, planking if that's still a thing. I don't even know why I remember there was a thing, but he took down another guy there before uh, someone came charging up to his, uh, his location. Now, I'm not really too sure uh, how he didn't see the guy there. 100 kill assist, which is always awesome to see in the, the little kill feed down the bottom. But enemy team are scrambling all over the place. I've only got one MCOM station left, and from this one side over here, he's going to help defend it, taking that guy down before getting in behind this guy for the good old-fashioned ninja stab. 
And then the cup is uh, just about over. Just see this one out with a nice couple of finishing snipes here. Take down two guys. Moving on. Next cup up today here we have Stoddy. Shown on top of a roof, right above the MCOM station. Also playing some Rush. Common theme today. But uh, he's just gonna go right in through the roof. The enemy team have no idea what's going on. That first guy come charging in the room and swiftly put a sniper bullet in his back. But uh, he takes them all down there by all, just all no scopes. Took them all out. And then gets right in on the MCOM station. Takes down a guy with the short 12 gauge. And that's now time to try and protect this MCOM station. Like I mentioned in the last clip, it's not very often you see a good objective play clip with someone using aggressive recon kit. And uh, that's exactly what he's doing just here. Just sort of walking around this MCOM station, getting some C4 down, using the shotgun as well as a sniper rifle to good use. And then takes down another guy there with the 12 gauge. And uh, to finish off the clip, running in this room, pop this guy. Moving on. Yeah, let's go. Got number five today. We have KLM 200 scopes. Yes, that name just rolls right off the tongue there. But uh, he's just surveying the sea using his sniper rifle off this uh, aircraft carrier. This guy thinks he can get away. Turns out there was two. He gets a collateral on a moving jet ski at that range. That's fucking awesome. Up number six today, we have Mad Tom. He's playing an Operation Locker, so he's using an L85A2, and he's just going to murder some fools, as you can see here. Again, it's another rush gameplay. We seem to be getting a lot more rush gameplays in through the top plays email recently, which is always awesome. Rush is a good game mode, just in Battlefield 4, it doesn't always work shall we say. But uh, the enemy team, as you just seen on the screen just there, defused the MCOM station. They only have 16 tickets left. So, it's panic stations at the moment. Try and get in there, arm that shit, kill as many enemies along the way as you possibly can. That guy there is first in line. And, uh, you know, just wait on his health regening, that sort of crazy shit. Get right in there and try and arm that MCOM station. I do not know how he gets away with running right in front of an enemy like that, like he just did. But uh, he does, he gets away with it, he gets the MCOM station armed, he kills that guy, he runs outside and he's going to start murdering some more fools out here. And uh, those two guys bit the dust pretty sharpish there. But uh, I need to give this LA5A2 a try. Anytime I've seen it in top plays clips, well of course in top plays clips, every gun looks awesome. But anytime I've seen it in top plays, it has looked like a good gun, people are doing some damage with it. And uh, this clip is definitely no different. And as they're down to two tickets just here, they get the MCOM station, they move on, and they can possibly go on to win this game. Good objective play clip there, sir. For number seven, we're staying on Operation Lockers, but we're outside this time, so the clip actually looks visually interesting. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm just sick of seeing Operation Lockers from the inside. It's just so grey and dull. I'm aware it's a present, it's not supposed to be coloured with rainbows and shit, but you know, it's boring to look at. But uh, yeah, he's outside, he's using the Gaul Magnum sniper rifle as well as some C4 as you can see just here. Tries to get himself a cheeky little kill around the corner there using the C4, but unfortunately for him, it doesn't quite work out. The enemy must have seen what was going on and just, you know, retreated. But uh, he takes a bullet there, he's not really too sure where from, so... Back up. You know, if you just take a bullet randomly from a sniper and you have no idea where the sniper is, move and just hope he can't see you still. But as he came up here, he just clopped the little guy's head as he just killed one of his teammates. He takes him down as well as a couple of his teammates. And then the spawn beacon, which is an important move. Take down that spawn beacon could be very important for not just you, but your team's survival. I don't know. Spawn beacon can be a very useful weapon, but he's going to continue murdering people here. And I've just noticed this is also another Rush clip. So, I don't know what's going on today. Half the clips have actually, when I've watched them previously, I've not even noticed they've been on Rush, but apparently everyone is playing Rush all of a sudden. But uh, he's just perched up on top of these rocks here, and uh, he's killed a fair few amount of people already so far. And um, as he's just peering over the rocks, you can see a few more people actually trying to get up here and take him down. That sniper, I believe, came up here a couple of times, hinting at obviously there being another spawn beacon in the local area. And, um, no more people far away, so what about how close? Well, they seem to be just appearing right in front of his face all the time. And somehow, he no-scopes that guy. I don't even know. But, uh, unfortunately, again, that's a word I'm using quite a lot today, apparently. But unfortunately, he has no C4 left. If he had C4, he'd be able to absolutely destroy them over this ledge. But, 
No, didn't quite work out for him. But 15 kills in a minute and a half. That's fucking good. Clip number 8 today, we have OG Vikings playing in Operation Metro using the M16A4. And he's going to move off up the left hand side here. Or uh, the right hand side, whatever way you want to orientate it is up to yourself as he comes up the stairs. I don't know what that guy was doing. Hugging walls, possibly. It's up to yourself, whatever floats your boat, mate. But guns down a whole bunch of people there. And then uh, continues just murdering fools as he comes around the corner up the stairs. Over 800 points in the current streak. And almost 1,000 points. And once again, wipes out a whole squad there, bringing his streak up to 1,300 points. We're taking down another guy, but apparently he just doesn't give a shit about spawn beacons. He's walked by two of them so far. So, yeah, it's up to yourself how important you think they are. But, yeah, very nice, quick little kill streak. Our next clip up here comes from the Lazy Clan HD, and he's playing in a helicopter. His enemy's in a helicopter. He has a sniper rifle, and that guy's head is now gone. That's some fucking awesome improvisation there. To see us out today here, we have Dexter. Has to be said like that, apparently. But he's playing here on Operation Lockers. He has an LMG. More specifically, he has an MG4. Thank you guys can see where I'm going with this. And as he comes around the corner, he just smokes the place up for like no reason. Killing those two guys, make that three. And uh, they've just got a flare going. I don't know if they were just, you know, chilling out there for whatever reason but as he comes up the stairs he lets rip with the mg4 and with that infrared scope you can be pretty fucking precise where you want to put the bullets and he gets a fucking awesome point streak of over 2000 points if you guys enjoyed this week's battlefield 4 top plays feel free to hit that like button down below and help out the show but until next time i've been big mooney these people are just getting shredded i'll see you guys later goodbye